Hey Capricorns, this is Hale for HES Ultimage, and this is your Spirit Tarot forecast for the month of July. Hey guys, um, so give me a second because we're getting started with this one here. Alright, <laughs> alright, 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 give me a second. One second because we've got a few here. That is so funny, I knew we were going to get the Archangel cards. And then, alright, cool, this is really interesting, because I had this gut feeling that there was going to be some love energy, yeah, for Capricorns in, um, July, and, uh, yeah. Give me a second, though, I have to t tie some stuff in. Okay, alright, so give me one moment, and, and you're getting to see some of my mini sets this month, so that's cool. Um, first one they wanted to show me is Two of Swords, which shows the idea of blindness or being blindfolded, okay? Okay. Okay, and actually they're showing um, the energy of Archangel Sandalfin is actually a part of the help that's going to be. Yeah, when it comes to... Uh, that energy of being blindfolded or being, um, being, that your eyes are closed, I, at least in the beginning of this process. Okay, give me a second, because there are a few different things that are coming in here. There are a lot of cards in Reaping, because we're starting with Reaping. Um, okay. Okay, um, for the Archangel Raphael energy that they want to bring in, it's the energy of they're bringing out shine is the one thing, and the other thing is the energy of trust. Give me a second. Um, and then there's another card here, truth. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to bring this all together for you, but there were a lot of cards here. A lot. So here we go. Working to Raphael. Shine. Trust. Truth card. Um, here we go, because these are the other really big... Okay, give me a second, because these ones are another... And another Archangel card. I knew we were going to get a lot of them. And sorry guys, but like, in order for me to channel the message from my spirit guides, I need to work with these as they give them to me. Don't worry, it's all going to be very cohesive. Okay, and um, again, this is supposed to be an important month, yeah, for love for Capricorns. Here we go, here's part of what they're trying to show me. Okay, um, here's the High Priestess in this deck. They're showing this one and the other card here is standing in the energy of, um, the Archangel Gabriel card, and they're focusing on the word lovingly, um, and to stand in love and to be planted within love, um, and the energy of love. Um, and, yeah, sorry, I really need to push that forward first because that's what they're giving me really big time. Um, is the idea that we need to be very firmly planted in the energy of love in order to experience love. Okay, all right, that's really important. And everybody knows, I do not talk about love often. It's only when I am compelled through the message. And there's a very, yeah, definitely very compelling parts of that message. But the first part is that we need to be grounded in the energy of love. And grounded into a loving perspective and energy itself. Okay, should I just, yeah? Okay, all right. Here are the other two that are in Reaping. Identification and Mystic Union. Identification very often is about seeing the counterpoint, yeah, of yourself within another person, and, you know, seeing a part of yourself in another person as far as recognizing how they're connected to your path. Okay, that's right. Um, mystic Union is showing the merging of those two people. And for some of you, this this can also be as far as a partnership or um, a friendship, any other kind of like loving union when it comes to not only just love itself, but also a loving bonding or pairing. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let me see what else we've got now. And they're saying be very grounded in love. And again, planted in the energy of love. I just saw 444 as I said that um, uh, for this month. For those of you who don't know what 444 is for the angel numbers, it's the angels are with you. Okay. Um, 
But again, and, and I'm, I'm going to show this because the card says um, to my love, but they focus on particular words when they want to use a card to their own purpose. And for this one, they're using the word love and being planted in the energy of it. Okay, give me one more second now because I want to make sure that I give everything that they need me to. They're kind of showing that in order to be in that loving energy, you need to be able to... Um, Give me a second, I want to make sure I word this properly. Um, it's They're showing me it has to do with like the footing again and being grounded in the energy of it. Okay, there we go. They're saying basically let love lead the way in July. Don't allow yourself to be motivated by any other feelings other than being grounded in that love. Okay, that's really important. I'm going to say it again, because that was a hard one for me to figure out with all the symbols. Let love lead the way this month. Allow that to be your motivation, your grounding, the nutrient upon which you allow yourself to grow and move. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, cool. And um, actually, they had one for me, which which is not usual anymore, but they gave me this one, which is protection. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so yeah, okay. I get that for me too. Um, cause, cause I had some questions about this too, cause I had a feeling it was going to be about love for July for Capricorns. So of course they gave me a little extra one there. But, um, again, the idea of connecting and connections is really important for July for Capricorns. And again, it's about loving connection, okay? All right, okay, we're going to keep moving forward here. And I know we got a lot of cards here, so, so give me a minute, because we got a whole lot. Okay. 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 Okay, cool. All right. So here's the thing. Number one, one of the other things they wanted me to say is love is blind. So think of it that way. Yeah, because they wanted for me to bring that in for the essence of this card. And that's kind of what they were kind of leading into with the idea of letting love lead the way to, is to be planted into that energy and overall um, wisdom of love in order to let that create the best possible outcome. Yeah, and they're showing the Wisdom card is coming into that, because um, Wisdom's one of the ones that we're getting for energy, um, give me a second, um, energy that surrounds us this month, because here we go. Um, we've got Wisdom, we've got Think Global, but they're circling Global in particular, yeah, on that card, which I would say is like broader sweeping Wisdom, or Wisdom that's um, on a much broader and, yeah, overall picture level. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we've got listening to each other is an important one. Yeah. And they're showing that's an important part about connecting with another person this month. Again, for Capricorns, it's a lovey-dovey month, which means that when it comes to, you know, either lovers, friendships, family, etc., that you're very open and you're communicating and okay. Yep. Facilitating love for other people. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Yeah, sorry. Getting getting some messages for myself now most definitely. Yeah. All right. Um All right. Okay. Um I got to bring this through now too because this is a, an important part of what I'm seeing now. It's also the idea that since we're going to be kind of the messengers and harbingers of love, that we have to open other people to the wisdom of love. Wow. This is a very hippie-esque message for Capricorns. Wow, for July. But here we go. It's a big deal, guys, because here we go. The other card that was in energy surrounding us is impotent. That means that other people in the month of July that we're encountering for some reason might not be feeling the love so much or might need to be feeling the love, in which case we need to bring it forward in a big way. Part of that is by facilitating good communication and allowing communication to be a conduit 
for deeper understanding. There we go. Yeah. And then, again, with global and wisdom being the thing, I really think, on top of it being a very interpersonal month for us, like I said, that whole love energy, connection, deep connection energy, friendships, family, etc. is still a very big deal for Capricorns. But it also takes on the level of other people need to be taught by us this month about what love really means. Because again, with global and wisdom being put together, it's showing me that we're the ones with the message this month and other people need to hear it. And I know you might be saying, like, okay, this is going to be me giving a message of love, love this month or, or facilitating more conversation or connection through love this month. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, too, because a lot of people will go, like, well, I don't see how this is relevant to me. Well, the month hasn't happened yet, guys. But allow this to be the message so that way once you get approached with that opportunity, you take it and you allow yourself to use your free will and human element to help do the work that you're meant to do. Okay? All right. And they're circling the word tomb now in Tomb of Love. It's that idea that other people can be buried by their own feelings of, or rather, lack thereof. Um, a lack of love that grows and then becomes, you know, something that's troublesome or or feelings of isolation or loneliness or that they aren't being heard or understood, in which case you need to bring, yeah, you need to bring the perspective. And it's funny, but, um, give me a second. Yeah, they're showing me you need to bring the expanded um, perspective. Yeah. Okay, give me one second because I want to see what else they want me to bring in here. Okay, and now they're bringing in this card. And these ones were a part of... This is really important for me to note because they had a very specific energy to this. With the Archangel Gabriel card, when they focused on the word lovingly, because really they use these word cards to focus on particular words and concepts. Like the affirmations on the cards, they don't even need that, my guides. They just pick out what they need to use for the time. That's part of what's so great about being connected in that way. Um... All right, so the lovingly was the energy that these two cards are sitting inside of. We covered this one, which is being rooted and grounded within the energy of love and being a conduit for that love because you are drawing on it the entire month of July, okay? This is the other card, and this is an important one. And it's like I was saying, be prepared for the assignment when you are meant to share love with others and the wisdom of love with others, here we go. It's the Eight of Pentacles, and in this version, it is incredibly specific, and it's the idea of being honored or bestowed upon with good fortune and wisdom and love, be in this case, because you shared that love with other people and expanded their perspective on the importance and meaning of love. All right. And this can be facilitated on a very personal level or on a very global level. Because again, and by global, I mean it's about perspective. It's about people understanding the big picture about what love really means and letting that love come out and be a force. Okay. And I know this is very uncharacteristically sentimental for Capricorns, but you are the ones who are being tasked this month with bringing this to other people. And again, you are being messengers, harbingers, and warriors of love in the month of July. All right? Okay, cool. <laughs> and tapping that up, you know, topping that off here, we've got energy we're bringing. What is it? I wonder. Fullness. <laughs> Why? Because we're full of love this month, okay? And we're full of the wisdom of love. That's even more important, guys. The idea is that you have the intel, you have the information, you have the perspective, and you should be sharing it with other people um, and connecting with other people with that. Sorry, they keep bringing back um, that identification card, and it has to do with connecting deeply with other people and seeing the connections within each other. All right. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, and they're bringing back that idea of being grounded in love again. So when you're connecting, always remember you're communicating with the root of love being your mentality and your intention. Okay? Don't muddle up the intention by coming from a place of 
fear judgment or um or criticism yes it's about coming from a place of love and wisdom and sharing that wisdom with other people in order to let them expand and grow all right okay and they literally <laughs> And this is making a whole lot of sense right now. They, they literally showed me the blindfold on the person and you whoosh, taking the blindfold off. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Um, so it's the idea that you're going to help give people epiphanies or inspirations about, you know, wisdom. They're circling wisdom about what love really means and how they should be communicating through love. All right. Okay. Give me a second. Because they're looking for something right now. Okay, and they're bringing in that protection card again. And the protection card into that word love. So know that, like, okay. That love can also be used like an armor that makes you impervious to pain. In which case, you know, coming from a place of love. Yeah, coming from a place of love you will see that you are protected in your own higher knowledge and how you express yourself. To remind people when you do give them advice that it's coming from a place of love. There we go. All right. Okay, action. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay, cool. All right, this is really interesting because, and it's like I said, they use the cards however they need to. Your inner guide is this card. They're focusing on your, and then they focus on the word love again in the other card. Here we go. And give me a second because I want to see if they need... Okay. All right, so bringing it all together, and we've been talking about this a lot, but they're, they're driving it home a little bit more. Action, they said, your love, and then they showed that it's the idea that it's about you and other people bringing it together. So again, it's really about sharing um, your perspective and your higher wisdom when it comes to understanding the truth of love, both as, you know, that love is an antidote, that love brings people together, that love is what matters most and not anything else if it's about... Um, arguments or vendettas or other things like that or isolation or separation um estrangement uh any of those things and more that you be the facilitator and let your love be the thing that can bring other people together cool all right <laughs> That's so cool, because I've kind of been implying this, and literally, they took the words together. They said, for imagine, imagine your love is your weapon of choice. <laughs> um, They showed the swords. So the idea is, imagine that love is the instrument of, in this case, uh, implementation. Okay, imagine that love is the the thing that can win a battle. Yeah, there we go. That's a great way of putting it. All right, cool. But yeah, and you are the one that wields that this month. Allow it to, yeah, allow that love to give other people wisdom and also I believe to help, yeah, liberate them from any kinds of prisons that they've created through, um, through the lack of love, okay? Yeah. Cool. All right. Give me one second. All right. Reflection. Ha 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 ha. Yup. I get that one. Here we go. So reflection is conflict. And what is the prayer with, guys? I wonder. I only pick cards by energy. I don't shuffle them. I pick them according to my guys. What's this card? What is it? Let me hear it. Two of Cups, love, <laughs> and um, and it's not just that, but connection, um, and and again that whole thing that we were talking about about having people facilitate connection, in spite of obstacles or other 
you know, trivialities that have prevented love from getting in. All right. And again, for you, this could wind up being a love relationship or the building of a relationship because we've still got mystic union and identification too. But it can also be, again, healing the wounds um, of the past for other people like friends and family when it comes to love and and the fact that there's been a rift created, or even on a broader level. If you work with like an organization that's about um, human rights or, or taking care of the environment or animals or other things like that, the whole big picture, big, big picture of this month for Capricorns, yep, there we go, is allowing your own idea, your own great and powerful understanding and powerful wisdom about what love is to educate other people who are feeling that lack and the lack of love and experiencing the absence of that to educate them and communicate. Communicate is one of the most important things because listening to each other is part of that major remedy, and again, that identification that represents the exchange, okay? So really important. I feel like, yeah, Capricorns have, like, an important role this month. They really do. And, um, and here we go, because they wanted to bring these back again. Remember that you must be rooted in a loving energy in order to facilitate this learning and sharing this wisdom with other people. That means that you need to, yeah, you don't want to come from the opposite place. You want to come only from that place of being loving, okay? All right. And then the idea is, again, that by doing that, you are given honor through what you share with other people and what you can help them break down those barriers that have been put in place, okay? All right, let me make sure and see if there's anything else they want me to do. Okay. They're saying with the protection card, they want to tie it into this a little bit. And they were showing the idea of those, those instruments. Okay, give me a second. Okay, they're saying you are protected because you come from a place of love, okay? So don't worry so much about how people will take the wisdom you need to impart to them. Know that because you come from a place of love, you are protected, and that, you know, what you want to give is blessed and protected because it comes from that place of love itself, okay? And let me see if there's anything else. Give me a second. Okay, and they're trying to say, ultimately, your love will help protect other people, is the whole point. All right? So, because they showed me, you know, your love and then the protection card again, and they show, focused on just one person. So the idea is... You being able to share that wisdom of love this month, yep, okay, they're, they're saying that's a big deal, um, is going to, in turn, down the line, protect other people, whether it's allowing them to connect more again with other people them, you know, that they're involved with, and to bond more deeply. And again, this can have to do with you or with people in your periphery, or again, if you're a part of an organization, it could have to do with educating people on a mass level, yeah, when it comes to the concepts of love, no matter how that is, you know, communicated through a number of different mediums, okay? All right, guys. Give me one second, because, okay, I just want to make sure if that's it or if it's... All right. Okay, so that said, I'll just close on this because this is the last one they brought me to and they said, you know, that's it. But I want you to just have this picture because this is what you're going to want to think of for this month when you see yourself, okay? So this month, you are the warrior, messenger, and warrior of wisdom when it comes to love. 
and share that knowledge with other people for July, all right? Okay, guys, that said, I do personal readings. If you want one, hit the link below. Hope you do, and I hope you have an awesome month. I'll see you later.